Well, one of the things I've most wanted to learn uh, with the iGolf Game Changer was bunkers, because I, I just have a, a mental blockage when it comes to getting in sand, and of course, consequently, whenever I see a bunker in the distance, my ball just seems to go for it. <laughs> one of Mark's weaknesses um, from that screening initially, he said he was very, very scared of bunkers. Generally, when I'm in a bunker, I get all tentative, I'll take a big backswing, and as soon as I come to hit the ball, it just tenses up, and I half hit it, really. I recall rather vividly a trip we did to Queensland rather recently. <laughs> the number of bunkers I managed to get in and the struggle I had to get out of them was, uh, was awful. So any time I see the ball tottle into a bunker, I think, bugger, you know, here we go again. Hey, Mark. <laughs> Don't be afraid, mate. Don't be afraid. With the challenge coming up with Telf, if I get near a bunker, I need to be able to have confidence to get out of it. Hopefully he doesn't have to go in a bunker, but you know, when he hits it uh, 320 off a tee on a par four, you know, greenside bunkers always come into play. <laughs> yeah. What commonly happens with golfers when they struggle to get the ball out of the bunker, they start lifting up and right. folding up their arms. Yeah. What I want you to feel as though you're doing is going back to that chipping technique where you get it nice and wide yes. and keeping your arms relatively straight. All right, Mark, so this is a really good thing to practice at your home course. Right. Draw a line in the sand. So I want you to hit the sand here, the and ball then here. the ball. Sand, ball, sand, right. ball. Not bad. Now that one there, really good way to do it. As you can see here, the line is drawn through here and you've hit back here. Way somewhere. back there. Yeah, so that's yeah. the reason why the ball didn't get out. Yeah. Ooh, that's that's better. better. Cool, cool. So now you're being more accurate. Lean a little bit more left. Good. Cool. Now that one there, what do you think? Well, I didn't get out high enough. Perfect, because you didn't hit the ball. I didn't hit the sand. Ah, I hit, I hit, oh, okay. Yeah, so you've hit after the line. Right. So this is, that, those were two really good representations for um, too little sand and wrong. too much sand. Well, I, I think I did learn the secret today about bunkers in the sense that uh, it's really the same shot as a pitching shot, but you're obviously in a different environment, you're in the sand. Well done. Now that's a good shot. Good. Uh, but you should treat it the same way, and that well actually uh, registered with me, and I felt like towards the end of that uh, little session with Guy, I was, well I was certainly was getting a lot more success. I mean, I was getting it out of the bunker, for goodness sake. All right, ready for a challenge? A challenge. All right, so the challenge today, you've got to hit three consecutive shots out of the bunker onto the green. Lean on that left side. Good, and stay on that left side. Well done. Okay, not bad. And again, and again, one's not going to get it done. No, it's got to be three. Good man. Oh, that's a bit far, that one. That's not bad, but you're out, out of the trouble. Got a 20 foot putt. Here we so go. Three. Final hole against Brendan Telfer. <coughs> Lean left. One. Legs are shaking. Good. Well done. And hey, look at that. In the hole! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> All right. Classic. All right. Telf, eat your heart out, Telf. The final challenge in a couple of weeks. Uh, I, I think he's feeling pretty confident. He, he does everything that we've talked about, regardless of whether it feels alien or not. Oh, I think you'll come away with a win. Well, I've got to do a bit of practice yet, but uh, yeah, I think I'll now approach a bunker. If I get in a bunker with a lot more confidence than I did uh, at the start of today, I promise you that. Thanks, Mark. Okay, guy. On your way.